This video provides an introduction to help you in organizing the components of your structured wiring. You should check out the availability of the required tools and equipment for starting any installation work. Experience with running cables in an office or house and through walls with fire stopping is a plus. The following wiring types may be involved in the office or home installation. Data, audio, video, telephone, infrared control, fiber optics, voice over IP, alarm. We will discuss today data, video, and telephone wiring. Data networking allows you to share a single internet connection among multiple PCs, share and access data stored on multiple PCs from any connected computers, share resources like printers, scanners. Wired Ethernet 10, 100, 1000 base T is a good choice for data networking for multiple reasons. Security cost and speed are the compelling features. Cat5 cabling replaced by Cat5e supports fast Ethernet at a speed of 100 megabits per second, 100 base T. Cat5e and Cat6 will support gigabit Ethernet, 1000 base T. Wireless networks are slower, 20 megabits per second on standards 802.11a and 802.11g and are subject to security threats and cost more as compared to wired Ethernet. Wireless Ethernet runs at only 6 megabits per second on standard 802.11b. A wireless network can also be considered in addition to a wired Ethernet network. This will enable more flexibility in the distribution of data for your office or home. For wired Ethernet, fiber optic cables may provide better performance, transmission distance, and speed, but are more expensive. It may be more difficult to install, especially if the connectors are attached at the job site. Ethernet for office or home is available in three forms based on their speeds 10 megabit per second, 100 megabit per second, and 1000 megabit per second, gigabit Ethernet. 10 megabit per second Ethernet is an older system and is rarely used now. However, 100 megabit per second Ethernet, commonly known as fast Ethernet, and gigabit Ethernet support almost all new Ethernet components. Cat5e has permanently replaced Cat5 in general. There are legacy systems that still use Cat5 cabling, and therefore some installations may attempt to use the Cat5 installed wiring for gigabit Ethernet for short runs. This operation would have to be carefully tested to ensure correct operation. A Fluke 1800 tester would be a good choice to test for the correct setup. Cat5 cabling systems not only support gigabit Ethernet, 1000 megabits per second for short distances, but can also accommodate 100 megabits per second and 10 megabit per second cabling systems. More advanced categories like Cat5e and Cat6 can also be used. Although Cat5e and Cat5 are rated for 100 megabit per second, Cat5e has more headroom and higher capabilities in a number of categories. The IEEE standard for gigabit Ethernet is for 1000 base T. Cat5 supports gigabit Ethernet under certain conditions, and some older versions of Cat5 do not support gigabit. Cat5e or Cat6 cables should be used for all new gigabit installations. Cable runs should not exceed 100 meters. Video requires high transmission rates and therefore must be carefully designed for smooth running of the system. Coax cable is commonly used for local transmission of video. Fiber optic cable is also used for very high speed multiplex video signals. For local distribution, coax video wiring can carry signals from cable TV, local broadcast antennas, baseband video, and digital satellite services. In one home system, two video lines to every outlet plate allowed us to connect a TV in the basement and a DVD player in the living room to a spare TV in another room from the digital cat V converter box located in a bedroom. This saved the expense of buying multiple devices. The widely available type video cable for structured wiring is RG6U quad shielded coax. Generally RG6U coax is dual shields, but RG6U quad shielded coax is also easily available. Another commonly used cable for video is RG59. With more flexibility and slightly thinner, RG59 cables are commonly used for Cat V and antenna applications. We have used RG6U quad shielded coax because of its superior operating characteristics. We limit the use of RG59s to short cable runs, such as from wall outlets to the TV or the CD player. Quad shielding gives higher immunity to electrical interference, therefore we do not recommend the use of RG59 due to the higher rate of signal losses in both higher and lower frequencies with digital cat V, broadband cable modems, and DSS. RG6U has less signal losses at both lower and higher frequencies, especially in the longer runs of cabling. 
In the past, a commonly used cable was the famous poor conductor variety, which is commonly referred as plain old telephone standard. However, today, the minimum recommended wiring for a telephone is CAT3. If you're already using the CAT5 or better for network cabling, we would recommend that using the same cable for telephone as well. You can get discounts on bulk purchase of CAT5 cable and gives you the advantage of carrying four form lines over the line, two line capacity of the plain old telephone standard cable. We've been asked several times about running telephone lines the two unused pairs of wires in CAT Y, CAT 3 or better. We would not recommend this as a high voltage 80 volt ring signal to the telephone may interfere with high speed 100 megabit per second or gigabit ethernet communications on the other wire pairs in the same cable. All the pairs are used for phone lines, there should be no problem. Superaxon cable is available to install as well supply the equipment for your structured wiring systems. Please give us a call for a quote at 1-212-757-0095 or visit us online at www.serveraxoncable.com S-E-R-V-E-R-R-A-C-K-S-A-N-D-C-A-B-L-E dot com.